The continent of Fotland is made up of four different factions. The Adrestian Empire, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Leicester Alliance, and the main topic for today, the Church of Seros. In order to defend against future invasions, the church founded the Officers Academy at Garrickmock Monastery to teach the youths of Fotland how to become proper warriors and leaders. At the center of it all was Archbishop Rhea. During an escort mission, Rhea was attacked by rogue assassins, but a knight named Geralt defended her and took a mortal blow for the Supreme Leader. Geralt was taken to Garrig Mok to heal his wounds at a rate that even he wasn't anticipating. Psst, put a pin in that by the way, that's gonna be important later. While he was there, he met a woman named Citri. One thing led to another and together they had a child who they named Byleth. Though, to the parents' surprise, their child was born without a beating heart. But after a while, the child would begin to breathe. Though the newborn wasn't crying or even expressing any emotions at all, and their heart still refused to beat. Clearly sensing something was amiss, Geralt lit a fire within the church, causing a panic that allowed him to flee with the young Byleth. Under Geralt's wing, Byleth grew up to be a mercenary alongside their father. Over time, Byleth's reputation spread across the kingdom. Byleth's lack of expressiveness made them out to be an inhuman monster that mercilessly cut down foes without remorse, spreading around the legend of the monster that is the Ashen Demon. Despite the legends built around this demon, that's all they are. Legends. Byleth actually despises senseless violence and is a pacifist at heart, but they had little room to actually express this since being mercenary is a life full of non-stop violence, so Byleth had no choice but to close themselves off. And on top of that, they would have frequent dreams about a war from centuries ago, as well as some child sitting on a throne. But one night, Byleth was actually able to speak with this child, learning that her name was Sothis and also has amnesia. Ain't that convenient. Byleth couldn't dwell on them for too long since almost immediately after waking up, a group of students known as the Gay One, the Straight One, and the Bio One were attacked by thugs, so Jarl and Byleth lent a hand. After an intense battle, all but one thug remained and launched one last attack at the Gay One. At the last second, Byleth shielded the girl and- <laughs> Died. Hey, I didn't see you there. I was just taking a breather while I prepared for the full episode of Zack Aguilar vs. Zack Aguilar, also known as Traveler vs. Byleth. Just coming out in a few days. Would be really cool if you checked it out. I worked hard on it. I mean, did you see those visuals for this analysis? That took me, like, a while to figure out. So it'd be pretty poggers if you watched the full episode. What the fuck? Oh, shit, gotta run!